I mean it sincerely. That movie made me want to take a nap. Like not during <laughs> like I was bored, but I'm like exhausted. like like I just had a full on Thanksgiving dinner. Like I had movie itis. Like I left that movie like I need to just take a nap to just soak all this in for a minute. Because it's yeah, it they is... filmed it. They filmed it with tryptophan. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what it is? No, I but got like, home and like a half hour later, I was like, I want to go see it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sincerely, I could happily see it a second time. The uh, I've seen a couple of viewers were like, it was even better the second time. Now that you go in with a certain expectation, you know what the pace is going to be. You you notice more. Hey, fuzz. Like, yeah. <laughs> just oh man, I God. No, that my movie. My plan for next weekend now is to go see it again. Nice. Like, so was that was Mad Max's uh baseline character the same though he was a cop that, that, it didn't even that's come not up really, to be honest that's not even touched in the in not the important plot. yeah it's yeah. Not yeah. Right. yeah I mean, yeah, I mean that's only along, there's there's like, a little bit of of backstory that kind of comes up but not it's not a direct plot element no you, it, it, it is you, like it clearly at this point max has been you know in the wasteland for a long wow. time yeah it's if you go if you go along the, the mad max series of thunder of, of world war and thunderdome then this film his history is being in the wasteland the cop has nothing to do with it anymore yeah we're yeah. long past his old life basically yeah the cop, uh, it's not important it's like yeah they that's... they even they even and i wish more movies would do this because i really just thought this was an inspired a uh, answer but somebody asked george miller like well where does this movie sit in the lineage is this a prequel is this a sequel and he went why does the franchise have to be linear max is a legend of the of the outlands this is just yeah. another tale of max this, yeah like, this might they don't not have even to be max. sequential right i mean it's like I, I just thought that was kind of inspired. I was, he was just like, why does it have to be sequential? He's a legend. People tell stories of him. This is just another tale of Max. I was like, fucking legit. Legit Good answer. answer. Good answer. Yeah. He's a stuff of legends. This might not right. even have been Max. This is right. just somebody who like him. And they went, ah, that was like Mad Max. Jimmy Jimmy Chung. It, <coughs> God, God, it was good. It was just, fuck. I, I can't compliment the movie enough. Like, it's, as a complete film, it's not the best film I've seen all year. I'll, I still hold that to Ex Machina. But, as an action film, like, as, like, like, I don't feel like I could change as a person from its deep and meaningful social commentary or something like that. I don't <laughs> think it's going to win all that many Academy Awards. But, like, as an action movie, it was an action movie done to an art form. Like, it was a yeah. master class of action movie storytelling. Every everybody had like a satisfying character arc from beginning to change to conclusion. Everybody, Excellent. fucking background characters developed over time. You know, like I'm glad <laughs> that I saw Avengers two before I saw Mad Max because if I'd Me seen too. Mad Max oh, and man. then Avengers two, I'd have been disappointed oh, in Avengers. Yeah, no, I I said something real similar. If I would have saw Avengers after Max, I would be like that movie was fucking awful. <laughs> like that movie was toilet. It was like Avengers was fun, but that was like about it. I'm like, that yeah. was the movie. That well, was you fun. Can't, you can't compare those two films at all. No, you really it's just, can't. It's a completely different world of experience from Mad Max mm -hmm. to Avengers. And I think that uh -huh. the reason why that is is because the Avengers movie was polished. It was focused on being able to do the PG-13. It was made to be able to be digested by everybody and their mom. Where uh -huh. Mad Max is gritty and dark uh -huh. and in your face and violent and it's just it's it's going from the zoo to a fucking train wreck you know it's just right. too extreme. <laughs> so no, yeah, I point. just and, and, and one thing you really notice and and just like the transition from from style of filmmaking to current the way that's done now it's so subtle you almost forget what it's like beforehand but like everything is CG now like everything is CG. Yeah. Everything is CG. Yeah. You can't even put a cape on a superhero without someone animating that cape. And it's and there's just something inherently cartoony feeling about that. Like going to see like a modern high budget full of CG action movie, there's a certain kind of unreality cartoon feel about it. And it's like it's so subtle because the transition's been happening for so many years that it takes a new movie like this where almost every <laughs> shot was practical, that every car was built and drivable. Like this thing, this you weren't just watching something someone animated. You're watching something that happened. People yeah. went to Africa and did this. 
And, and in his typical filming fashion, he did it chronologically from beginning to end. Yeah. All the Mad Max films were filmed from beginning to end. So, which which makes sense because like if a film like a project like this takes so many months, the, even the actors subtly are going to be slightly different if it's from like exhaustion of like I've been filming this movie for 3 months, I no longer have the fresh out of my trailer enthusiasm that I may have had on day 1 of shooting. It that I think translates to a character in an action movie because yep. their character should be more withered and exhausted from the from the events of the film fictitiously and I think that 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 happens with the actor as you're, you know, Charlie Theron Welcome to the African desert for the next, you know, 190 days of right. filming no, this car African, chase. Right? <laughs> Do what? She's actually African. Welcome, welcome back then. Apparently. <laughs> She's South African. I didn't nope. know that. So, yeah. yes, she is one of the worst people ever to exist. There you go. That's no, she's she, one of the Dude, best. she's she yeah. is so very good in this. I, I like her most of the time anyway, but she is fucking so good in this mm -hmm. movie. Her character's good, like everything. It is it is the best action film I think I've ever seen. And I'm I'm a I've been a, I've been super juiced about this movie for months. Like before everybody and their moms started saying go out and see it. I love Max movies. Like I've loved, oh, like God, a little kid. Like my dad was super into him. I'll even defend Thunderdome. Like, I thought Thunderdome yeah. of the three films, Thunderdome was the second best one made, in my opinion. I I think as far as quality goes, it goes uh, Fury Road, Road Warrior, Thunderdome, Mad Max. As far as how much I like them, hmm. like Mad Max is my least favorite of the of the four of them. And and but, Mad Max really is. The hardest one to go. It's an action flick. It's like not half that movie is not action flick. No, half yeah, that that's movie, half the movie's a romance between him and his wife. It, it, that's if, and if it's, it out, is more of a character piece. Yeah, there's a whole other character. tone. If you chop like, out all the parts about why Max is, if you just like trim out all the parts with his wife and stuff, and just say, you know, throw in a one liner, and then something terrible happened to Max, and he went from this cop, nice clean cut, only takes out guys that break the law, to fucking psycho mode. The movie's 45 minutes shorter, but it's better. It's smoother. It's like it's, it's a different. The, the first Mad Max was a different type of movie. I think it was like they know the story they wanted to tell, but they couldn't make it make sense yet until they've done that amount of character development. But not until Road Warrior did they finally like come up to speed of as far as where they wanted to be. But but yeah, no Fury Road is oh, the so best good. of the four for me. Like it, and it is, and that's coming from me loving the other ones. This one. This one just like George Miller just came out of the woodwork. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I did Happy Feet. Uh, I just <laughs> like, I imagine in my head George Miller has been going to every action movie in theaters for the last decade and just getting more and more pissed. So it's like, <laughs> fuck it, <laughs> like we're going, and I'm gonna show everybody how it's fucking done. You know what's and, great about George Miller? Have you seen him? He's like this little nice old. Oh yeah, dude. yeah. He's like this. Little... <laughs> It was like uh, Doug Bradley when I met him. He's like just short, real quiet, and it's just it was real weird. Because you imagine like from his performances that he's this big, has this presence about him. No, he's totally short and soft spoken, and it's just real weird. <laughs> Romero is a spider of a man. When I met him, he's just like <laughs> lanky but hunched over. He looks like a puppet of like a maleficent spider. <laughs> he was nice though, but he was a fucking spider of a man. But yeah, like, shit, I was just, I've been looking forward to this movie for so many months, and I remember, like, my mom hated them growing up. Like, that was like a me and my dad <laughs> thing. Mom hated those movies. And uh, my mom really wanted me to, to take her to see American Sniper for whatever reason. She just really wanted to see it. And she was like, you go to the movies all the time. I can count on you to make me not go to the movies by myself. I said, yeah, I'll go with you. And they played the Fury Road trailer beforehand, and I was just like... <laughs> Verbally, like squirming in my seat, like ah! Ah! <laughs> she was just like, "God damn it, no!" <laughs> Mom, we're well, gonna miss that one too, right? No, that means you're you're excited about September first, then, right? What's uh, what's September first? Oh, the Road that... Warrior for PS4 comes out. Oh, dude, oh, yeah, that yeah, looks yeah, so yeah. good. <laughs> and yeah. now, now seeing the movie and then looking at the game. Before looking at the game, I was like, "Okay, cool, Mad Max." Now seeing the movie and then going to the game, I'm like, I have to fucking play this game. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. The game looks so good. Yeah. 
You're saying it might be an actual reason to buy a PS4. It's, you know, if you're a Mad Max fan, dude, it's, I mean, as long as it, it doesn't good. do what they've done with a lot of fucking uh, IP for games and just like, oh, look, we put Mad Max game on, name on it and it's a fucking, a bunch of quick time events, which would suck. Yeah. But this, I, I, it, I don't, I don't this looks, this looks like it, it <laughs> has the potential to be a really good game. I don't pre-order so, anything anymore. I just wait I, for reviews. I'm going to butt in here for like two seconds just because. Uh, so we have Hunter is in chat, Hunter Wild, and he's also hosting us uh, because oh, he's well, awesome. Thank you. So Hi, thank you, Hunter. I appreciate it. And I hang out in his chat all the time, so I really appreciate that you're over here. Yeah, I'm sure we will get to the D&D part of Dungeons and Distraction <laughs> quite soon. I think right now we're all just a little high on Max. Yeah, it's true. Well, we're um, catching up. We we have, we're have we like a week well, we behind. We missed like Usually, two games. Did we miss two? Yeah. Just one. Yeah, that was last game that we missed, and then the one before that, no, we were here, so it's oh, okay. been two weeks since we played. I thought we the one before have... last week was me in Chicago, but I guess not. We... No, we that have... was the one before. Oh, uh, that's last. right. Okay. <laughs> we have 30 minutes of bullshit, which means today we have to have like an hour of bullshit to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so much well, has wait, happened. Wait, wait, there you go. I can I can do a big news. Yeah, we haven't, uh, we haven't talked to each other in a while, so. I, I can yeah, do a big yeah. news. I can do a big news. I sold my front end loader. Nice. Right you're, not, you're not plowing uh, next year? No, well, I'll do it with my plow truck and my little brush hog, but I, I, because I, I went, there was a, there's a guy who has a pretty decent gold claim, that he kept hiring me to go out, and I said, well, here's the deal, bro, why don't you, buy my rig from me? Now it's yours. You can put it on your insurance policy and shit, because I've gone out to his site like three times, and I fucked up little pieces of it, and have to do the, okay, insurance claim. This part broke under air quotes normal use. This guy's gonna pay for it, but I'm gonna say it was still under warranty, this part, therefore, the company's paying for it, but this guy's like, I'm going to pay for it, dude, you broke it working for me. I'm like, right, but I'm going to claim it on my insurance. Let's just get through the middleman. You've got this big site. You know how to drive my rig as well as I do. When I sell it to you, I will rent my services out to you when you need an extra driver. I'll come out and drive it, but you're making money on this gold claim. You're making a lot of money on this gold claim. Just buy my fucking rig with me. Okay. I was like, I was kidding. Uh, no, I'll buy it off you. All right. So, so now I am not only completely debt free, but I'm really debt free. Nice, nice. I can live on I can live on play money for a while, but it is kind of sad because I look out in the driveway and go, oh, big empty space where you <laughs> yeah, to be. it's missing. I can fit everything I own on the trailer it used to go on. It's like, oh, <laughs> sad uh, once here. You should just stop right now and ignore the game. Fox and go see the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh HP God. Fox, I won't just, be mad if you like just, just leave you know and what? go. You know yeah, what? Let's no, go. I'll, I understand. <laughs> Wait, let, let's <laughs> be like, realistic. Hot, God Fox, speed, what, son. Where are you? It's 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 four twenty where I am. But if you are, are you on East Coast or Central or West Coast where you can catch it today? I don't. You know, I don't know. No, I don't know where HP Fox is. I I I don't think I might. But <laughs> he's somewhere. None, I'm sure he could go see it if he wanted. None to. of us will be offended. No, exactly. if you leave, go, if you no, leave no, and go see it and come back, I will. I, I will totally be okay with that. <laughs> that's true because the game's gonna be about four hours long and the movie's yeah. two hours. So if you go you, catch it, you now, come back, catch the end of it. You'll you'll, you'll, you'll come back for our next bullshit break this week. Yeah, and gush that's right. Fuzz, <laughs> Fuzz, on and, the other hand, is like uh, where I live. Yeah, there's one movie theater in town. Shows one screen. If I want to go see a movie like Mad Max before it's been out for like four weeks. About a six-hour drive. Fuzz, Fuzz has uh, no It might be worth it, go. You Max... might, you might need to go see. It. You might need Fuzz, to go drive yeah, for sincerely, it. Sincerely, I think it might be worth the trip. <laughs> Fuzz has no excuse though, because Mad Max is part of his national heritage. That's true. He That's right. He true. should, he should true. get like a national holiday to go see it. Honestly, <laughs> just like the way New Zealand handles Lord of the Rings, I think Australia needs to handle. A Mad Max. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just have like giant Max in the airport. <laughs> Cars driving around as security on the on the airport now that are all like tricked out with spikes. It's just some <laughs> dude on a bungee cord with like a flaming guitar. Like, welcome to Australia. <laughs> that's that's their customs well, no, I, agent now. Because he couldn't, he was a mute. He couldn't speak. He was yeah, blind and he was a blind and a mute. All that's right, he was. Guitar. I, I knew he was blind. I didn't pick up that he was a mute. Yeah. Basically, he was he. The reason why he was still alive and part of that. I'm of sure. that uh, group was because he could play the guitar. I'm sure standing in front of that stack of speakers, he's probably also deaf. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, oh, so okay. it's okay. it's getting close to game time. Let's do a recap here, because since it's been a little while, and I'll. Uh... You did. You fell down a very big, deep hole. You, 
You um, fell down the hole. The druid jumped down the hole. The rest of us were like, looks like a hole. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Seems dangerous. So let's see. So we've got, we've got. Where is uh, Anna? Anna and and Steve are down here, on the top of this pillar that uh, <laughs> <All> <laughs> ended her ice bowl. At, at the bottom of that big hole. Uh, and then Jinji and Cipher and Coat are is all up pretty? top. We're, we're good. Above the big hole. <laughs> I'm just kicking my feet back. You guys are in a big uh, ice cavern. You're looking for a uh, tiefling ma- named Macath, who is supposed to have the Drakhorn, or at least was the last known person with the Drakhorn, right? And, this, and these this tunnels and stuff were beneath one of the huts that we found in the Ice Hunter village on the giant iceberg. Yep. And you guys... You guys didn't make any contact with the ice hunters directly on that on that iceberg, right? No, we, we went up, we, we were to. in. There was nobody in the village. We went in and then down, and we haven't run into anybody yet. So. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get initiatives was, out of the way first. And there was a, hey. like, over the hole, uh, Corvo even said it. He was like, I think this is the feeding hole because <laughs> there's a giant meat there's hook. A hook. There is a giant yeah. meat hook over that oh. hole. You're right. Is, is that supposed to be a hook or a penis? I don't know. Is, who, I don't know who drew that. I guess it's Genji, in which case it could be either. Oh, it's a horn. Uh, it's a... That, okay. All right. It's like, can we go home now? No. This ice sucks. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Dark. I don't this like ice it. ice is dumb. <laughs> Uh, I'm a fire drink. I'm probably miserable in here. You probably are. <laughs> like, Very good point. Fucking freezing. Stupid. <laughs> I'm just going to complain the whole time. I'm just kicking ice shards around my foot. I don't want to go to the He ice. becomes a fucking... Yeah, he becomes a 14-year-old on a family vacation. <laughs> right. <laughs> just is like stupid. Well, I, I actually had a, que- for a question for... Uh, wow. Brain has to work. Dr. V. So, boss, can you use Mage Hand to move far enough up to where that ice hook is, the end of a silk rope, and then bring it down. Well, how... F- well, okay. I guess that question is, how far away is that ice hook? I don't have a... So we have to figure out how far away. Um, yeah. If you were on the edge of that hole, it, it'd be five feet over, and uh, I think it was 15 feet up? Yes. I, I yeah, could make that. that. Yeah. So, I, could, I could use your silk rope and tie it to the meat hook. So then if, if standing where I'm at, he can mage hand the end of a silk rope that I'm holding up over the hook and bring it back like a loop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Shades then, of yeah. Vitus. Yeah, you can do that. Hey, and then tie, yeah. tie the ends off and then tie another rope onto that, which means a 50-foot rope is now, let's call it 20-foot because it went over the hook and back. And well, then tie another one onto it at 70 feet because they're like 80 feet down. It was like 60-foot slide and then a 20-foot drop, so they're pretty far down. I'm into it, but my thought is, too, like if this is a feeding chamber and a feeding hook... Shouldn't that hook have some sort of winch or control to lower it into the pit? They also might, like, magic it up there. Who knows? That's true, too. And it's well, not that far out there. It might be something really tall slams the meat on it. Yeah, that's true, too. Well, Michael Jordan is an Inuit, and he comes by. <laughs> <laughs> my my theory I? is I want to I rig up ropes so we can get yeah, yeah. what they need to. Yeah, I was just saying, like, we we might not have to if it's a lowerable hook, if it's a feeding hook, but if we, um, if we if we don't right. see, I mean, I'm, it wouldn't take too educated of a glance to go, hey, is that thing mechanical? Well, here's the problem. I mean, um, uh, who's going to be the one to control the hook? Because if this is anything like my experience with those crane games, then it's possible <laughs> that... <laughs> got a well, um, right if I can get a rope, if I can get a rope, I can climb out. Yeah. It's like someone pretend to be an iPod. <laughs> um, as far as far as because goat, you're the only one that's actually in the chamber with the the hook and the the uh, the rope at the moment. There's no. It, it seems to actually just be a hook embedded in the ceiling. In the ceiling. Your, your guess is if they if it is a feeding chamber, they probably latch some rope onto it and kick whatever down the hole. Right. Ah. The hook is just there to have something to hook it on. Because right. It's easier to hook something onto a hook than tie it around a stalactite and hope it doesn't fall off. Exactly. Well, in that case, have you discussed this plan with me in character? Yeah. 
we were doing okay. that at the tail end of yes, uh, not yesterday. The yeah, last, last session. Had, yeah, dude, it's, dude, I'm in the middle of hosting a huge movie night. That's all I've been thinking <laughs> about for a week. That's it's all good, bro. I've been I've been rendering the intermissions all day. Nice. <laughs> nice. But um, but yeah, okay. So if that case, if it's just a hook embedded in the thing. Uh, I will, um, if we're going out of combat turn order at the moment, I'll approach and, and uh, get that rope up there. All right. Perfect. So I need a, uh, let's see, Jinji, I think I need your initiative roll still. But um, yes. yeah, that's fine. You can, we're not in combat or nothing. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, so the the rope is, uh, was it a total of 80 feet? Is that what I heard? If, if if I use the two ropes that I've got, if it is like, I don't know if Dr. V or Corvo's got another rope, that's the two ropes I had other than my magic rope. Okay. Do I have a rope? I have to check. I don't, I don't know. Are you using... I, how how many... Using two, they're two silk ropes that I've got. Two 50-foot oh. silk ropes, so that... I'm figuring that gives about 70 feet. Do you need another rope? I could probably tie mine to the end of an arrow and, sh and shoot it up. Well, how good of a, a shot are you? Here, here, here's the thing. Uh, can, if we can, can, can if can they? Uh, it's gonna sound, it's gonna sound bad. I'm going to quietly yell. So, like aiming my yell down towards the hole. Real, can you hear me? Quietly yell. Echo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Roll for avalanche. <laughs> Sorry. Making you guys up are whatever fucked. Whatever eats from that hook. Well, we passed an entire room of kobolds, so it's not like we stealthed in here. We still well, did yeah, through a village. But, I think whatever they're feeding is down in the hole, man. That's a Sarlacc pit. <laughs> probably. Like, probably. Is there like a green Mandalorian gauntlet just like laying on the ground with a bone sticking <laughs> right. out of it? Well, well, what, I, what I'm saying though is once the, once the two ropes are tied together and I like just toss it and let it angle down through the hole, if the slide is about 60 feet, then it's a 20 foot fall. That means it's only hanging 10 feet up in the air. I think the Dragonborn can lift the bard up and grab the end of the rope. We have a bard? When did that happen? Not the bard. The, sorry, the druid. <laughs> um, like a bard. I'm a bard. I'm a druid. I'm, I'm, I'm a druid. Well, I'm a half face that shoots fire. <laughs> he could he could, uh, he could, take the form of a mockingbird. That's yeah, kind of I, like a I, druid, right? Yeah, I know. I don't need help getting up. <laughs> All right. So as far as the, the rope that, that Jinji drops down in, uh, that's far enough that you actually have, when it gets down there to you, uh, Anna, you have about an extra 10 feet sitting on top of the pillar. Are we on a pillar? Yeah, you are on top of a pillar. I retconned oh. that last week. Because <laughs> oh, okay. you actually should have landed on top of the pillar. Oh, okay. All right. So we can climb up now? You you can. I need a couple of strength checks from you guys. Um, this or... is uh, preferred. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Okay. Give me three more. Or I'm sorry, give me two more. I can count. You're fine, and yeah, you're alright. Um, I yeah, believe I, I can. I seem to remember us like discussing whether we wanted to explore in, in here. Or is is that not a? I kind of yes. want. I I kind of was like getting ready to fight. And the, I'm moving uh, you back up, just as a heads up. Ice Drake, in here. Well, if, I, yeah. uh, we're gonna rem remain separated. I'd rather not separate because they obviously didn't want to go down the hole. Well. So. He can fly in one of his animal forms, so he can do a quick check that area down and fly up. Okay, you want to do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Can All right, Steve. So you're you're scouting around. Yeah. All right, go ahead and uh, give me. Uh, what are you us? What are you turning into? Um, let me look up my biz. Um, I'm gonna turn into an eagle. A ogle. What? <laughs> right. What? He goes into the the beastie area and says, "Let's find the weirdest <laughs> spell animal thing. that I can right. be." It's an A Welsh. It's an Iago. E e <laughs> it's a Iago from Aladdin. Oh, he's gonna turn into a parrot. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm turning. I'm turning into. A, I'm turning into a uh, a giant. Gilbert Godfrey, the giant <laughs> eagle. It's right. I, I'm, I'm laughing. Problem with every, your dog. <laughs> every every time, every time Steve has Saren turn into some kind of exotic animal, I just flash back to Sarge from Adversive Blue. Stop making up imaginary animals. It's a walrus. What I say about making up imaginary animals? All right, all right, um, Steve. As far as the the room that you're in currently, uh, if you spend some time scouting it, 
There are several of these large ice pillars in the room. Uh, other than that, the the ice ab below you is uh, a little bit more translucent than it was uh, up top. Um, so it looks like it's been worn down by repeated traffic uh, and smoothed out by repeated traffic over the surface. Gotcha. Um, are you just staying within the chamber that you're currently in, or are you going to go out and explore a little bit more? Um, how many exits to the chamber are there? That is a good question. Hang on. Ten thousand. There are one, two, three. Okay. Um. Hey, who was that? We got a new follower, and I missed it. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, uh. Moon Man. Moon Man, thank you for that follow. That is, I appreciate that. That is awesome. <laughs> anyway, like, sorry. When you say Moon Man, are we thinking more like <laughs> McDonald's or the MTV Trophy? I'm thinking um, Kevin Spacey I'm for some reason. From the, I'm thinking the, the fucking old McDonald's mascot. That guy rules. <laughs> for some reason, Kevin Spacey's robot from Moon came into my head. God, I so. love that movie. <laughs> oh, I, thought anyway. you th I thought you were thinking K-Pax because you went Moon no. Man and Alien. <laughs> That's Kevin a good Spacey. point, though. I didn't yeah. think about that. No. But uh, Steve, there are three exits in that room. Right, you have I'm one fired. to the west, <laughs> one to the northwest, and one to the northeast. Door number okay. one, door number um, two, and yeah, door are, number three. Are any of them like, um, like, is there wind coming from any of them? Uh, there is not. Okay. Uh, there, there, none of them probably like immediately laid out. Uh, I'm just gonna try to keep in mind where they are and fly back up. Okay. And, um, you do hear the sound of a snow goat behind one of them, though. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, there's a goat trapped in ice somewhere in there, and somehow you're still being able to hear it, like scream, <laughs> make its sound. Is it a ba? Like, what do ah! you What do you call a goat noise? Uh, go goats Goats actually have bleat? a real wide. I think they bleat. They can't, yeah. bleat. They can't yeah. bleat. They also will ba, but. If you've ever watched the YouTube videos, they will scream, <laughs> they scream. and that is scary as shit. When you <laughs> accidentally are out walking along hiking trails or something, or out scouting for hunting animals, and you come across a goat and it looks at you and goes, Aah! and you're like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> and fall off the cliff. All right, so you guys are back up together, uh, mostly now. Which uh, you guys came from the south. Which direction do you want to head? We did. We came from the south, and there was. Well, I don't recommend going the way I tried to go. <laughs> There's a tunnel. Up. <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> Diving into up. the hole. There's a tunnel there, and then there was another hallway this direction because we came from this direction. And I'm pinging the map. Sorry, nobody was paying attention. But no, I thought. We, we could go northwest, carefully going around the edge of the pit, not trying to copy Brule's excellent move going down. Or we could go skills. west. That takes skills. It did. It did. <laughs> that did giant pit stuck up on you. <laughs> Being very careful to walk around the pit this time. That, yeah, that, uh, that pit was like this way. That, the giant pit was like the worst mimic ever. It's like I'm a giant pit. I'm right here. Ah! It's really, I'm right here. <laughs> I wonder if the police ever get called to a, a place that raises goats because it just sounds like someone's being murdered. <laughs> I don't know. Have you like someone was. Deer screams scream just as bad. Deer yeah. screams bad. Like deer used to be real common. It. You can tell whether a person um, lives near deer regularly, or if they're a city kid here very infrequently, whether they think the deer are magical or not. If you're like, holy <laughs> shit, it's a deer, or there's like, fucking giant rat, lime tick having garden eating <laughs> fucking bastard. No, my mom's <laughs> property, when I live, is full of deer. Like, got into a fight with my sister's car once when we were trying to drive up the hill. Like, a deer came out and stood in front of her car for minutes. And then, <laughs> so she hit the horn so the deer headbutted the shit out of the car. Like, oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, it's every morning. You look Breakfast time at my mom's house, you look outside, there's eight deer pissing in her garden and digging up her flowers. She was like, motherfucking <laughs> giant rats! <laughs> Alright, alright, which way are you guys going? Foxes are still cool, though. I like foxes. <laughs> Let's go, um, uh... Gingy, you have highest initiative. Do you want to make a decision on which direction you're going? Uh, well, I don't want to be down in the hole because that hook was big. So whatever eats from it, I don't necessarily want to uh, deal with. So, so uh, Vitus is not an Alice in Chains fan, is what he said. <laughs> no, I don't want to go down in the hole. Um... 
God damn it, that's that's in my brain now. Thanks. <laughs> it um, was it was in my brain until you since you said it. So. Uh, <laughs> I I say let's go up. Let's go that uh, north uh, westerly direction. Okay, everybody, give me um, dexterity checks at an advantage <laughs> since you're going to be trying not to um, not to step in the pit this time. And now that it's you've said something, and now that you know that the edge is is. How about I just hug the wall? I see the pit. Someone's right. already fallen in it. Right. I know That's why I'm giving something. you advantage on it. All right. Who am I missing? All right. Man. You're all fine. <laughs> By one. Anna almost fell. No, wait. Cypher. <laughs> you know what? No. I'll give it to you. Just go ahead. <laughs> Don't be mean now. <laughs> I'll go ahead and give it to you guys. All right. So you're going headed north. Everybody makes it around the side of the pit uh, safely. Cypher almost falls in. Is able to catch his uh, catch his balance around that edge. Distracted by the uh, trying to determine what the hook is for. That's yeah. what it was. All right, so go ahead and move yourselves up and along the path there. Big room. Uh, crap. <laughs> see how I bravely stopped way in the back <laughs> of the hallway. You see how I'm ducked behind everyone else because I'm soft. So that room is noticeably warmer uh, than the the room there that you were just in with the uh, large chute uh, in it. If it's um, full of like xenomorphic eggs, I'm fucking out. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the what you find in that room, I'm gonna force you guys all to go in the room so I can get it all on screen here. Typical. Yep. Sorry. Um, in that room is uh, mostly dried fish. Uh, some it looks like supplies that the villagers store down here to keep it fresh. So you've got like fish and squid and walrus and seal. Uh, looks like some furs are in there. You're guessing that maybe this is where the uh, the cobals come to to get furs to fashion clothes out of. Uh, looks like basically it's a trading area between the villagers and the cobals that live within the uh, within the um, what's the word I'm looking for iceberg. Huh. They have a working economy. Okay. There are. All, you guys want to look through any of the supplies for anything in particular? Yeah. yeah. Anything? Okay. Any? Any secure-looking containers? Just uh, leave the fish and walk away. There aren't <laughs> any containers. Everything just seems to kind of be piled in. Well, piles. Um, so there's not really any containers. You, there are some some things that you do find out of place, uh, like some ink uh, wells, and brushes and parchment. Um, hey, parchment! You're not real sure why that's there, as cobals aren't really the literate type. Um, so you're kind of, that that kind of strikes you as curious. I am going to investigate the ink wells and parchment. That's probably for the person. Here's a random idea slash question. The next time our campaign does something weird and we think about re-rolling characters, does anybody want to be Master Blaster with me? <laughs> like, just just be a huge old melee enforcer and I'll be like a kobold mage on your shoulder, like, yeah! <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's more the reason for you to play, um, to play Mortal Kombat X, dude, because Master Blaster's in the game. Master Blaster's yeah. the character in now. <laughs> o- oh, only, if, only if I can truly play him as, like, the intelligence... Two. <laughs> so you want to be Groot? <laughs> I, I totally want someone to just be like three kobolds in a big jacket. <laughs> and a trench coat. <laughs> yeah, pretty That's awesome. That's fantastic. Be like, I oh, am a draconic sorcerer. That you know, that's that's the end of this campaign. You're gonna find out Doctor V was just three cobalt <laughs> in the trench coat <laughs> the whole time for decades. <laughs> no one has figured it out. <laughs> Nobody's got the wise of it yet. Because he's actually put all his skill points into disguise. Right. <laughs> I'm actually a talking bear. Oh god, that again. <laughs> Sir Barrington, of course. All right. Sir Barrington will live on in infamy forever. All right. I will make fucking sure. <laughs> So you guys, are you taking any of the ink or anything? As yes. Cypher sounded like you were excited about the parchment. I can always use more parchment and ink, so of course okay. I'm going to go and investigate it and see what I can take. Okay. The other few things in there are uh, uh, coils of rope, spikes, a couple of pulleys. Uh, looks like the the gear definitely was not made uh, by the ice hunters. 
Uh, everything that you saw from them was made out of like whalebone and skins and stuff, and this is made from you know wood and metal, so it's definitely out of place. I want some oh. of the polies. What was that? I'm gonna take some of the polies. Okay, go ahead and give yourself. Uh, let's call it three. Uh, are there two fifty foot lengths of rope? Uh, there are lengths of rope and. Uh, or if could... there's one one hundred, I I just want to get a hundred feet of rope to replace the two that I've used up. So. I assumed you guys took them off the hook. You didn't just leave yeah. it hanging there. No, left them hanging there. Oh. Left them hanging there. What if All we right. have to go back down there? All right. Um. Yeah, you can find a hundred <laughs> hundred foot of rope. That's no problem. Okay. It's not uh It's not nearly as good quality as the uh, the other rope that you had. And you're a little worried that it might be dry rotted because uh, it's been down here left alone for a while. But there is some rope. It's all right. Freezer burn. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Why the rule is always it's less, less than first. fresh. Where do y'all want to go? Left. There, there, there um, appears to be one straight north, one northwest. Is there anything to the south? I'll move myself a little bit there. Nope. Dead in the room. So do we want to go north or northwest? Um, go west. I throw a bunch of chicken bones on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> northwest it is, then. <laughs> All right. I'm heroically letting the two com comedy uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm an Eagle. Don't uh-oh. <laughs> Don't uh-oh. Don't uh-oh. I look like I look like a fucking I look like there's, a Moltres right there's now. There's things in that room. That's why I'm stopping right there. there there's a thing. There's a thing with the thing with the There is a, thing, a thing in the thing. And a stuff. Roll me uh perception checks everybody looking at the thing. Perception. Uh... I don't know. Have I have I left the room, or am I still gathering supplies? Uh, you. I'm sure you caught up with everybody. Okay. Perception. I notice things. I am staring at the back of my own hand. <laughs> I'm, my character is still fucking thinking about Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, Saren and uh, Brianna, you guys both, Brielle. I always mix. I always smush your names together. You're you're watching entirely <laughs> too much Game of Thrones. Clearly, um, and a brief. You guys notice that there is there seems to be uh, someone. A, it looks like a person uh, huddled in the in the ice and snow ahead of you. Um, I'm gonna slowly approach. Okay. Going to slowly slide the spear into its throat. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it won't notice. So shh, no, shh, let it happen. Shh. <laughs> Don't fight. Terrible. It. Don't fight. It. What is he the doing? the chamber is empty except for three bundles of rolled up seal skins sitting where a ladder descends uh, into the chamber from a chute above, uh, approximately at the center of the room. Additionally, a bed of uh, piled furs has been arranged in the southwest corner. I totally put him in the wrong spot. He should have been in the southwest corner. Let's pretend that he is. Um, from which the sound of loud coughing as can be heard uh, as you enter the chamber. Okay, so, so he's somewhere over here. He's, he's laying... Well, we're going to leave him where he is because... Fuck it. Oh, you, um, you can put cool. him there. <laughs> we can forgive you. Redcon! Redcon! All right, he's over there. Good. There you go. All right. So he is he is laying on a uh, on a makeshift bed of furs basically and coughing. Um, anybody have got the herbs? Anybody have any skill in medicine? Uh, let's see. Did I take medicine? Yo. I actually do. Yeah, yeah. Can I, no, I do not have any um, medicine skill. Can I make any? Can I make a check without touching him because I'm an eagle? Are you still an eagle? <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, you can make I'm, a you can make a check yeah, without Steve, touching him. Be a man. I'm, I'm a I'm a glowy fiery eagle. Oh, you are. Be a people. I'm on my shoulder. Okay? Be, a, be a people. Um, be damn a people. it. <laughs> uh, so so uh, being a large eagle, you could probably sit on my shoulder. Um. <laughs> all right. So you guys both the both of you that that took a moment or uh, took a medicine roll rather. Um. Notice that he looks fairly weak and and sickly. Uh, you can hazard a guess that what probably has happened is that the ice hunters have quarantined him. Uh, down in here, down here to prevent him from infecting the rest of the oh, good um, for us. 
That's good logic. The rest of you the village. I'm, I'm respecting these. I'm respecting these ice hunters more and more. They're they're logical people. Somebody sickly, quarantine their ass. But this is a very warm room. Okay, so which but, one? Oh, wait, you guys actually, the last room was really warm. Is this room as warm? This room is as warm. Actually, it's a little warmer than the last room. So, so quarantine them in a warm room where whatever the ick is is going to spread. Boy, I vote we don't go in the room. I got a question. The magic potions—they don't like. You're talking about like the healing potions? A healing potion yeah. will only heal hit points. There, yeah. You should have potions for like restoration, which would cure yeah. diseases. Yes. Yeah. Or yeah. spells. Or, or spells. I wasn't sure how the system worked. Okay. So which one of you guys is in the uh, is playing an RPG is and gonna rifle his pockets for like gear and shit? Who's, who's <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Don't be silly. There, he wouldn't have deer in his pockets. <laughs> you never know. He might. There's skeletons little, little miniature skeletons deer. drop armor and money and jewels and paintings oh, yeah, and shit yeah, out of their bodies. Any, yeah. <laughs> or actually, Fuzz, I wasn't Fuzz, thinking about that. Fuzz used a good point. He said, quarantine him next to the supply room. Totally logical. I'm like, the ice hunters might be using the old American cavalry theory. We're going to quarantine somebody sick next to the supplies. We traded the kobolds. Kill off the kobolds. Take all their shit. Well, if we can, if we can either heal him or convince him that we have something to heal him, we might get some information from him. Could try talking to him. Nothing wrong with that. All right. That's not my forte. <laughs> <laughs> well, stabbing him is kind of like talking to him. <laughs> that, 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 it's a language of sorts. It's an understanding. Part. It gets your point across. Right. There we go. <laughs> when, when I stab you, I think we've 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 communicated. So you guys gonna approach him and talk to him? You gonna leave him alone? What are you doing? Gets your point across. <laughs> I, I actually I wanted to step over to where 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 in the room is actually the ladder going up. Uh, that is that red circle of dots the there. Circle. Yeah, I'm that is the there. light, and the the ladder is right in the middle of it. I'm I'm looking up and checking that out. All right. So it's a it's a wooden ladder, very much like the one that you uh, originally descended to come into the uh, the ice caves. Okay, obviously not in the same hut though, because we came. You've moved one. around, yeah. Yeah. This probably leads to the um, the big uh, meeting hall or something. With with all honesty, a dying man does not have much in the way of information or learning, so I've seen plenty of dying people, so there's nothing for me to get from this guy. I mean, I Dr. Think we B, by the way, is blatantly, dying. like, holding his sleeve up to his face, like, I don't want to be in here on fucking wall. Um, Ken, uh, Saren will, Saren will turn into a human, and, uh... Saren's gonna be a people? It's gonna yeah, be a people. Um, can, he, just... can he discern, um, what specifically is afflicting him? Um, With another medicine check. Roll me, a, yeah, roll me another medicine check. It's got a airborne it's Ebola. A, yeah, I'm, so I'm it is be breathing through a bane mask the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not something um, that you can contract uh, from him. Uh, it is something that makes it it really hard for him to breathe and speak. Uh, because any time that he tries to, to do anything more than just take a labored breath, he breaks out into, like, a fit of coughing. If uh, I remove his mask, will he die? <laughs> no, I think he'd be all right. Uh, he, um, is, he is running so, a fever. So the, the tribe doesn't know a lot about this disease, or, or else they wouldn't have quarantined him. That's a reasonable guess. Um, does he have any spots on the back of his throat? Or... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think you're no. going to be crossing a trust bridge when you go from <laughs> talking to him to putting popsicle sticks in his mouth. Right. Open your mouth and suck on this. I mean, make a cure. Is he, is he like brown chicken brown <laughs> or, So he like, he can, he like breaks into bits of coughing, but he seems like somewhat pretty responsive other than that. Yeah, he, he's, he's definitely out of it. It looks like he's probably feverish. He's got sweats. Um, He's shaking a, a good bit. You can't tell if that's from the fever or just from him being cold or part of a symptom of something, though. You might have one of the Michael J. Fox disorders or something. Bad case you, of uh, coughing isn't a coughing and uh, like like shivering is different than like Parkinson's shaking. Though. 
After a minute, after he, uh, after you look him over for a minute, he does reach up and clutch kind of at your, at your armor, looking oh. like he's got this kind of pleading look in his eyes, like fucking make me feel better. But he, he goes to say something, and and the moment that he does, he begins to cough again, uh, before mm-hmm. he can get anything out. <coughs> All right. Um. What was that, Anna? Is there anything we can do for him? Well, there's the, uh... There, there, there is the, the... The the dragonkin fucking doctor approach. Stab him with your fucking pike a couple times. That might work. Dragonkin medicine woman? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying to see... I'm... Um... Restoration used to be on my spell list. I don't know if I have... Oh, here we go. Um, <clears throat> do I have, like, a regular... Um, does lesser restoration cure diseases? Uh, it does. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast... The... Oh, man, that's only a second level spell. Um, yeah, I'm going to cast that on. All right. So, Steve cast less, lesser restoration on him, and after a moment, the, the fever... Like visually breaks, he looks like he's feeling a lot better. His his skin gets color back. His sweating stops. He uh, he takes a couple of deep breaths without actually coughing all over you, Steve. Um, Ready to go, Steve. Yay. And uh, after after a few after a few deep breaths of him catching, you know, trying to catch his breath, he looks at you and he says, "Thank you. Um, that that would have been a death sentence had you not come by." Aren't you the guy that killed my entire family that tried to get on your <laughs> ship because we were trying to get away from the bad guy? Hey, hey, you? hey, hey he doesn't know about that. We we weren't sure what was going to bring, Why you gotta bring that his up? spirit or his body. <laughs> and he his common is he can speak common. It is uh, thick. He's got a heavy accent and it's kind of broken. Uh, but it gets an, enough to, to be able to get his points across to you. Gotcha. He says, um, is, is there anything that I can do to, to assist uh, in, in whatever brings you here? Yeah. Dr. V, this will be your Banny, Banny house, but there's a couple things you can help us with. What's down here besides cold? Well, what, well, no, nah, well, or we could be more specific, like, because the Kobold said, the master is down in his chamber. Where exactly is that chamber so we don't stumble across it? We, we probably need to stumble upon it. <laughs> Hell, we might be in it. Oh, man, we've it's had this him. dude. And we're also looking for... I've forgotten the name of the... The... The tiefling. The tiefling. The tiefling. The tiefling that we're looking for. Macaf. Ask him about the tiefling, too. All right, so somebody tell me what you're asking, because uh, there's been I, several questions fly around. Well, the bullet. Him, the, go, go ahead, please. I was gonna say, with him being vis- like visibly better, mm-hmm. at least improved upon, I'll uh, enter the room. Okay. So, I was hanging by the door because I didn't want to get super herpes <laughs> um, in my my throat, my ear balls. Um, so now I'm going to enter the room and, and look at the guy and if no one's going to question him, I'm going to question him. Okay. He uh, he looks over you, he does it he gives you just kind of a, a a glance. He's more focused on Saren at the moment since Saren's the one that clearly he you know made him feel better. Uh, but as you Makes approach he, he acknowledges that you're there and goes back to to looking at Steve and, and saying what can I do to help? And and just being really grateful that he, you guys were around to save him. Steve, do you uh, yeah. speak Draconic? Nope. Do you speak Elven? Yep. Maybe Steve should ask the question since uh, he's responding. He's already developed a rapport, so yeah, I would go for it. Okay. So in Elven, I'm going to say, why don't you ask him where, uh, who lives down here, where they actually are. <laughs> Caves, where this ladder leads, and about the tiefling. All right, all right. Um, so, uh, yeah, the first thing, the first thing I'll ask him is, 
uh, who lives down here. So he, he looks at you and he says, I, I don't know much. Uh, I know that there there is a group of kobolds that, that call the caves home. Um, and I've seen some ice trolls peering at me as I was in the throes of my sickness, but I'm not sure if I actually saw them or if they were brought on uh, by the fever. Interesting. Um, how how far from uh, how far from this uh, cave are you from? I I am from the the village on the surface. I've since they put me here, I have not left this chamber uh, as I did not have the strength. I see. How long um, has it been better? I have no way of knowing. Uh, there's no no way to see the days or nights. Have Have you gotten a look at um? The, uh, thank you for the follow. Sorry. <laughs> oh no worries. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh god, I, I haven't fully cured him. He's he's experienced. <laughs> he's... Well, actually, well, it's it's we can we can kind of figure out how long he's been in out here. Yeah. So, um. When did he get put down here? We know what day it is, what month it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him. Um, has he has he seen anything? Um, uh, have have you uh, been able to spot or hear? Uh, what sort of creature lives in the lower chamber? Um, not directly, but I know that the ice hunter chief has a dealings has a dealing uh, with with the beast that lives in the lower chambers, uh, although he is not always there. Mm. So it's some it's an intelligence. Um, have you heard anything about a horn? A, a horn? He, yes. Uh, no, I I can't say that that I have. He's just he's very caught off guard and and not sure quite what you mean by a horn. Um, he's like, is it like a a on an animal? Or, yeah, we're I'm, speaking. Yeah, we're speaking in Elvish or. Or no, common. He's speaking he's speaking common. Oh yeah, no, yeah, we were secretly speaking in Elvish. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, I I clear hey, my throat uh, loudly. Uh, so it's like, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> coughing uh, cough. Can, can I make a uh, like an insight check to see if he was like? I mean, like yeah. Oh, I don't know what talking about. Yeah, go for it. Uh, as far as you can tell, he's being completely honest. Okay. Steve, um, don't don't think of it as him trying to fool us. Think of it as if you told somebody, "There's a tank in my front yard, fish tank, M1 Abrams tank, tank of lobsters, sewage tank, septic yeah, yeah, tank, sewage tank, <laughs> septic tank, yeah, yeah. propane no, tank." That's, that's, that's what I was. That's what I was assuming. <laughs> but, but like, but hey, yeah, like you never know. Sometimes people are really good. Um, Mage illusions cast cough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, his his right, yeah, his but, his ailments are very specific. I I like that. He has a fucking communication cough, cough, cough. <laughs> trying to get my point across. Cough, cough, cough. I'm Dude. gonna fucking create an illusionary the horn because it was described in quite detail and just yeah. sort of over it over us, rotating like a great the big dragon horn turned into. Okay. A... Um, just... he he looks at it and kind of tilts his head. He and then he shakes his head and he's like, no, I've. I've not seen an object like that. Then I will form that into a tiefling woman in kind nice. of the classic, like, neon sign, one leg up, <laughs> up pose. Like, he, he eh? again, shakes his head. He's like, I've, the only creatures that I've seen down here were the, uh, the ice uh, trolls, and I can't even say that I saw that for sure. If I find out you're lying, I will give you the disease again. Uh, roll roll an insight check. Roll an intimidate check. <laughs> Either one. However you want to go about it. Alright. This is a preferred roll. Okay. Uh, as far as you can tell, he is telling the truth. I have a question Just for gonna, him. I'm going to throw shade at him. S S Saren, ask him if he recover, was he just literally sent here down to die, or if he recovered from his illness, was he supposed to climb back up and re-enter the village? Uh, it sounds like he didn't 
neither he nor his village people thought that he was going to recover. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> God damn it. And I got that in my head. Of course you had to say village people. Thanks, so, Steve. So, like, the chief has got a fucking headdress, <laughs> and they got the hard hat wearing fucking Eskimo. <laughs> um, so, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him, uh, have, have many of your, um, have many of your people been afflicted with this illness? He says Is that... Is there a place where the young men can go? He <laughs> <laughs> says that, that sometimes when we spend too long out on the waters, uh, hunting something gets into us and and the we come down with this affliction um so it's al- it's always been this way as as long as i can remember some if if someone spends too long on the waters they have the possibility of coming back uh with this this affliction where does this ladder lead this ladder leads uh, to the town the the hut and the or what's i'm trying to remember how i described it the town hall town hall uh, for lack of a better term uh the main lodge there we go that's that's what i was looking for this leads to the the lodge on the surface uh have you ever been inside the main lodge there mr nice tribesman that's true cured i have i have been there many times for for celebrations and funerals and weddings and the last time as I was brought down here to die. Are are they going to react negatively at all to you showing up? Uh, having been... Like, are you... Are you forever shunned from your tribe now, or...? It is not unheard of for someone to survive the affliction, uh, but it is rare. Okay. Do you need anything else to get back to your village safely? Um, no, but if you would not mind someone extra coming along, I would like to assist you if I can to repay to you. Sure. Uh, would you would you mind telling us what your particular skill set involves? He says it's a very specific set of skills. He says my my name is is Mend Nets, and it is not. Ironic that that is my name, for that is what I am best at. I like I like names like that. <laughs> it's uh, it's good. Good job. I good, wish uh, I like out of care or out of game. I wish I had made that up, but that's his name in the module. <laughs> I'm that is, changing my name to Rose Shade. <laughs> Rose Shade. That that is awesome though. That the tribesmen name their name themselves practically. They do. I can just name points across. So I can I can and offer to I can offer to repair your armor uh, if that will will help um, you uh, during your journey. Um, there's not much that I can do here in in the cave, but I could at least attempt to mend something if you need it done. This, this, uh, you know what? Folks need any nets need mending? Uh, 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 a quick a quick whisper aside to Doctor V. This this could be our way in good with the village. We go back up with him through the ladder and say we act, you know, we, we were down exploring the Kabul caves. By the way, other villagers were looking for <coughs> fuck, whatever her name was. You guys, what if McCath, the dogs recognize us though? McCath, the, ta- the oh, so, so? Dogs can't talk other than you. <laughs> and you can't talk when you're a dog anyway. Okay. That's, oh, that's right. Okay, cool. No vocal cords. Yeah, yeah, right. They could have a very elaborate series of barks and clicks, though. <laughs> clicks? Yeah. Yeah, like they're non bark. <laughs> little, like. <laughs> oh, I got, like, yips. So we could, yeah. we could go with this guy up into the main tent, make contact with the villagers, say what we're here for, looking for the former owner of the Dragonhorn, because the last place, the Dracorn. Sorry, Dracorn, because this is where it seemed to be sounding from. This is where she's supposed to be from. Or last known location. It it doesn't seem like a waste of time for information gathering purposes, but I don't, I'm just my own deductive reasoning. I don't feel like we're going to get much from right. them. Right, but logically, it seems like the kobolds are the more likely people who know something like a tiefling. This, yeah, this, these caves and hanging out near a Drake and stuff. 
more like a tiefling kind of thing than hanging out with ice well, hunters. Obviously, there's other entrances other than from this village into the inside of the thing, so, you know, they're probably just, like, the very edge of meeting. So they probably don't know anything. Well, not a, not above letting this guy live. I mean, he, he, he was in just a city situation. Since he's in good with Saren, why don't we continue to explore this underground complex stuff? He stays here in this room. Since he owes Saren his life and all. And he doesn't climb up the ladder and leave what? unless ice trolls and stuff come in here. What I could do is use uh, an illusion to turn myself into a giant salmon. Right? And then Come levitate on. myself up the ladder shaft and out of the hole like I'm just a celestial ejaculate just blow out of it and then hover there and be like if you would like good harvest answer my questions <laughs> I am the god of salmon <laughs> well you could they have a tribal shaman so they're probably not going to be all of them fooled the dumber ones will be um I say we just tell him not to tell anybody about us and go along with our business. <laughs> I vote. I vote salmon god. I think. I mean, <laughs> he's gonna need some explanation for how he got better. Like he can't just be like, uh, this oh, he well. Although no, he know? said some people do just get better. I feel like asking him to lie to his people might be like. I magically uh, got better. How was that lying? Right? I mean, honestly. I imagine. If, if people better. give him shit. No. Then well, it's just... Just, it's just like, realistically, how most primitive cultures survive stuff. If your constitution, you know, hey, you ah. made enough foot rolls, he stabilized, and his body went, all right, burn off the fat, burn off the sugar, done with the sick, recover. Tell, just, if anybody asks about it, just say a floating giant celestial salmon. Made me better. <laughs> he looks like. Are, are you saying that in char in character? Yes. <laughs> he he looks at you with his head kind of tilted to the side, like, I think you might be insane. That's the look that he's giving you. He's not actually saying anything. Um, and he he returns his his look to Steve, uh, and, and asks, "Is there is there anything else that that I can do to assist you and your your group?" Saren, explain to your new minion here that, yeah, we're trying to do something for the greater good. Air quotes. Good. Good is underlined. In quotes. Highlighted. With an yeah, amber stand next to it. <laughs> if, uh, if Debaucher wants to see if he can mend that rope up for him, make sure it's not too freezer There's burns. a ladder! He could climb the ladder up and No, two. but, no, because oh. you're, you got, yeah, you, like, got rid of the other rope. Uh, not worried about it. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I think we're I think we're square, man. He nods and says, "Then, then I will be on my way, and I will make no mention of you and your group unless asked. In which case, I will say that you are here uh, for the greater good." All right. There you go. Then here you can as long as long as you promise to not show anyone, you can take this with you. And uh, Saren makes a little stone coin. With uh, Dr. Vitus doing the Buddy Christ? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that on one side, on the other side needs to be a floating salmon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that, and that'll be like the eagle on America. Exactly. A All big right. salmon. It's a big floating, floating salmon. that says, May your crops be plentiful and your mustache wily. Yeah. Gotta get... <laughs> yeah. Does, right. it say it in, does it say it in common or is it in like Latin version of. I, it's it's in draconic. I want it to mystify them. Okay, you're gonna have to t show me how to do that. But yeah, I, I can I can like write it in the in the ground with a stick. Show yeah. you what the symbology <laughs> looks like. Like, dear, just right. do this. I think I think we've got a good. Yeah, it's like about the size of a quarter. It'll it'll be it'll basically be like you know a white college guy with a a Chinese like tattoo. Oh, should like we I'm, get I'm him? Telling you it says like may your crops be plentiful, but actually it says you know like 
water, it, water um, toenail. Should, 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 <laughs> should I leave right. like a hole in it to like so you can put it through a necklace? Yes. Yeah. All right. I do that. All right. So he's using up them, using up them spells. T taking his uh, taking his coin and and going home. He ascends the ladder, um, and makes no mention of you guys to the the people that greet him on the surface. You can hear kind of that he's greeted by cheers as he as he exits out of the ladder. You hear a couple of uh, broken pieces of dialogue before the uh, the hatch is closed. Uh, again, good man. Cheers, and then the sounds <laughs> of you know knives entering flesh. <laughs> oh, oh God, shunk 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 shunk. All right, he'll kill us all. Stab stab. Hey, Narwhal, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. As does everybody here. Everybody here, if I haven't mentioned it before, appreciates any follows that we get. That's fantastic. We do this every week, or at least we try to. Uh, we usually run from about 5, 5.30 Pacific Standard Time until um, 9 o'clock. So we, we usually run for three and a half, four hours. But uh, And we, we like to do giveaways if, we, uh, if I have the funds. Uh, so we've given away, what I think it's been, what, two copies of the Player's Handbook now? Two, yeah, yep. two. So, if you uh, if you hang out, I'm sure we will do another one here down the line. I don't think we have one planned for tonight, uh, but you do get XP for sitting around and hanging out and watching us stream, and that XP is used for raffle tickets down the line. So, feel free to hang out, watch us stream. We don't take ourselves too seriously. You shouldn't either. Feel free to talk and chat and ask us questions. We're all and, keeping an eye on it. So, and, and any commentary where you make fun of Steve, yeah, like bonus uh, absolutely oh, bonus. bonus yeah. In fact, I don't think I've said it this week yet, but God damn it, Steve. God damn it, Steve. <laughs> improved uh, can, improved so Crane, good. thank you for the follow there. We appreciate that. It's doing so good. <laughs> you were, and then <laughs> yeah, we just have to get it. Dr. Steve, Steve, medicine woman. Help the, help the NPC. It's going to come around and bite us in the ass. Yeah, what a douche. And actually, I have, a, I have an idea for another giveaway item that I will run past you guys when we're done with stream tonight, just as a heads up. Because I think you it might be neat. run past us in stream and see I if could. people listening give a shit. Is it, maybe is it maybe the, they're uh, like, boo, your idea is dumb, we don't care. Is, is it the, figure, the figurine of Robo Steve is. you were talking about? It's, it's not a figurine, but or not of Robo Steve anyway, but uh, Hero Forge has custom minis that they can you can design and they will 3D print them. Uh, and they're seem to be relatively good from what I've seen on uh, on a couple of review places. So I'm thinking about us designing a mini for somebody. If you win a raffle, pick one of us to design the mini for you. Uh, or awesome. design it yourself and, uh, and let us know what it is and we can uh, get that sent to you too as a as a raffle giveaway. For people that either... Shoot Buddy Christ. Yeah. For yeah. people that already have the player's handbook or have no interest in it but would like something, you know, just a little mini or something kind of neat like that, figure that's a good alternative to uh, to the player's handbook. You you, you know that's going to happen too. That's going to ha I, I am going to one of my carving projects is the Buddy Christ, but it's I'm going to put stars and stuff all over his robes. It's going to be <laughs> Doctor V. Here unfortunately, for, Rico, they're help. they're not painted. Unfortunately, uh, from the uh, from the place, so they they would be. I think they're translucent plastic uh but apparently they're supposed to hold up pretty good so i suppose you could paint it if you really wanted to my it, 3d printer should come in the mail in november oh in that case what you need to do is start printing <laughs> out some of these coins for us to give away right uh, i can <laughs> i can certainly try um, actually not a bad idea no, I'm willing to do so. Uh, Narwhal, no, we are uh, we are scattered about the U.S. We have somebody in Illinois, Oregon, Alaska, California, and Kentucky. Kentucky, yep. You know, all the cool starts, states start with A. So just... <laughs> all right, no. so. <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, no, I'm not no, really. No, <laughs> I don't think any of them start with A. <laughs> Well, he's right. It's a cool. It's cold. It's chilly. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, like. You could say Alaska is cool, and I, I would really have a hard time arguing. But just states with A, you've got Alabama, Alabama to deal with, and Arkansas, Alabama, Arkansas, and Arkansas, Arkansas yeah, Arizona. You got, the A's are stacked against you, man. <laughs> That's a true story. Anybody from Alabama or Arkansas that is watching, we're sorry that you're there. No, no we're not. Fuck no, we're not. <laughs> you're supposed to say that while playing a banjo. You know, so. <laughs> Uh, how did we form the group? We have a good chunk of us have known each other for about ten years. The rest of yeah, us have been, kind of come along and and stuck to, no, stuck around. No, no, we started no. playing uh, Shadowrun two years no. ago, and no, then we moved. No, three. We started. Three. We started off playing uh, uh, 
we started off playing um uh fuck what is it uh the D and D that we were playing originally oh Ravenloft favorite, way back we started when? off playing Ravenloft and then we went well from that Ravenloft was just to... that was just me and you though no was, it was in Ravenloft me you and Echo yeah but, yeah that's Echo. true uh, yeah but like I I think like most of us have met because we were all working for a Matrix themed internet, internet radio, radio station which is yeah. random as shit yeah that's yeah. that's <laughs> I I met the GM Impius. While we were while we, we were, were playing, at the time yeah. playing Secret World, yeah. and he said, "I'm a I'm a DJ on this radio station," and I started listening to it. And he went, "Hey, you don't seem like a total twat swat. Would you possibly like to join a gaming group?" And I went, "But I am a douchebag." Goes right, they need more douchebags. So <laughs> I clearly, was we didn't have enough. Bag. Yeah, Everybody right. Needs an asshole, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, every, every group yeah. needs a D and D bag. That's uh, I, I you need that shirt, Genji. If you I, didn't buy that I shirt, really I'm gonna be disappointed. Do. I haven't. I haven't had any money, man. Like, I'm just you know, movie nights coming up. I'm trying yeah. to buy more seats. Right on. I but, need uh, chairs. Yeah. I'm tired of throwing a movie event and making chairs. Yeah, but I'm sick of doing that. Like, I would rather <laughs> just have nice chairs. Yeah. Don't even give them chairs. Give them cardboard boxes to sit on. But like, here you go. Uh, well, then you couldn't see over the couch. Isn't that carpet. The couch is front and center. If you're sitting on the floor, you couldn't see over the couch. That's lame. And it's like the foldy chairs suck, and like most of those have like a weight limit of like a buck fifty, and some of our friends are kind of big. So I'm like, that's the last thing I need is somebody to collapse a chair and then be super embarrassed. So I've been buying these like pretty nice wooden stackable chairs for a couple of years now, and I try to buy a couple every year, like a couple more. But anyway, that's like, yeah. Hey, you're hosting a podcast. You know what would be a fun conversation? Wooden chairs. <laughs> right? Yes. Let's, let's, right? That's entertaining for everyone listening. Let's so. go in the detail. How how many chairs have you bought so far? <laughs> what kind of wood are they made of? Are they comfortable chairs? All right, fair enough. So let's uh, let's get back to the game. <laughs> now that we've all been, like, fervently bitch slapped for not playing. <laughs> all right, so what are you guys doing? You've uh, You let him go back up to the village. He seemed to be greeted by... From a, by applause and cheers, uh, didn't seem to say anything about you guys as far as you could hear. Uh, so we should probably eat it for his strength now. We should probably continue on. All right. I'm I'm moving my torch up to behind okay. the the meat shield. I'm I'm grabbing everybody and moving them I mean, so I can keep everybody on the screen. Teammate yeah. known as Briel. <laughs> there we go. Exactly. There's lots of <laughs> so ways to go this way. mage on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we should who, go. Who rule couple run down? Priel <laughs> run couple down. Embargo <laughs> lifted. All right, so which direction are you guys headed? Left or right? Uh, there seems to be multiple lefts. All right. The chicken bones say left. <laughs> so the I'd say the left most left. Left, most left. <laughs> left until you can't left anymore. I think we're gonna go in a circle at this point. No, left until there's nothing left. Oh, there's uh, lots. Uh, <laughs> Cypher, I'm, I'm keep moving you just to keep you on screen, by the way. Yeah, no, that's that's fine, because I would okay. be behind everybody else, so that, that's that's fine. Alright, so it has started to get, get noticeably colder again for you guys uh, in the area that you're in now. In fact, this is probably the coldest that you've been uh, since you've entered the ice cave. This does seem to be wrapping back around. Nice. Any well, uh, change in the formation of the... Because before you described the ground was like a bluish ice. Um, it it has gotten colder. It's very transparent and almost uh, glass-like because it's been worn by uh, travel. Oh. Um, through here, so the caves are definitely a little bit slippier, uh, slippier, uh, slippery, than uh, and as you make your way through. If we have to fight an undead zamboni, I'm gonna leave. Doctor <laughs> B has got a deep rooted fear of um, zambonis. I, I was I was gonna say if we continue that way, we're coming back around to that other hallway. I think. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I just wanted to make sure. But mapping wise, logically wise, it yeah. makes sense to to do it all the way. Yeah. No, I'm not actually mapping. No, we've got to finish. Point. You've got to finish uh, the mini map. Anna is a dragonborn uh, narwhal, yes. Oh, a yep. dragonborn oh, narwhal? No, oh, there's somebody in <laughs> yes. chat named narwhal. <laughs> oh, well, that's canon now. <laughs> 
Dragonborn. Oh Jesus, that, that's that's a scary back. thought. Now we know what the other half is. <laughs> Alright, that was the whole I fell in. So. Yep, that was. That hallway wrapped back around. You gotta keep the narwhal down in the hole. So, I'd say left again. Or southwest. Did it. No, it's not Alright. What's this room looking like, boss man? Get everybody in there. That room, room is... Eight. Big. Empty. Big empty room. It, it yes. is empty. There is nothing in there. Okay. Are there any exits there, out of the like, room? Like it's a big empty just, hole like, in the ice. Can I That's not who I meant like, to grab. put my hands on the floor and cast burning hands and just descend until I find people to murder? <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole right there. <laughs> uh, there, there's. If you want to mur get your murder on, there's a whole room of kobolds. That was room. <coughs> there is a. Uh, roll me perception checks, please. You got it. And I don't leave. <laughs> okay. Oops. Is that everybody, or is that just the people? Everybody. Who... Okay. That's favored. Oh. Ooh, I see. I notice things. Yeah, oh, there's there's some people who are seeing some shit. There are some people <laughs> seeing some things. I am among them. <laughs> so the people that see the things. Um. Notice that there is an exit that you can make out here to the very to the uh, northwest. Uh, we go to that also, exit. there's a few things that you can tell from that opening. Uh, oh, snap. Well, now that the wasn't... lights moved over there, never mind. Well, never, never mind. <laughs> you guys got this. Yeah, you guys can totally see things now. That looks like. Uh, gonna go ahead and. Uh, Roll some looks initiatives. Like, looks like some monsters there. Good job. It does. Good job. Wait, wait. For a Did free action, like, I would like, like to cool turn cards? and look back at the uh, sage known as Corvo and go, good job staying towards the back where you can cast spells from, buddy. Huh? Double, double bu buddy Christ. <laughs> he's Christ. like, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm, I'm busy in my own thoughts. So he's like, what? Okay. Yeah, I ha I can't see ship, so my he's character is still frost. just he's he's studying ice growth patterns. Who's I'm the other? Still oh, yeah, that's right. Me and... in on Mad Max. Was it? Well, it was Brill, Brill's another light source, right? Um, I don't have a torch. No, Steve. Did. Steve is I, the. I uh, am also like when you're not, when you're being a people, you actually have a torch. Like my character. When I'm still not a people, I'm a like glowing. Um... He's a flaming whatever. He uh, form a, he takes. He is a bad '80s van art piece. Is what he yes. is. Yes. I feel like, isn't that a? Isn't that like a Munchkin card where you're like you just add flaming to? Like, <laughs> yes. Or, if yes, it's it is. not, it should be. It yeah. is. All right. There, there, there was another Munchkin card that was like the if the GM's not paying attention, add Vorpal to any one weapon. <laughs> so Jinji, you have a uh, you have first action. <laughs> so. Can I tell what these things are? I can clearly see that there is a thing. Uh, yeah, they look, look like... Um, you would you would almost say that they were humanoid, except that they're blue, hunched over, have these long kind of beak noses and tusks. Um, as far as actually knowing what they are, no, you've never actually seen one before in your life. I will... Um address the beast. Okay. I will shout at it um, with, uh, how about let's go with Hadouken. No, not I'm not magic hut. I'm not going to blatant, like, I'm not going to Hadouken him yet. <laughs> I it, will. It, it's all Sorry. Like, he Headset off, running to the bathroom. Yeah, no worries. Ah. But uh, what I'm going to do is um What's a good way to do this? Persuasion, I suppose. No, screw it. Intimidate. I'm gonna. I'm going to um, intimidate and yell at them and be like, "What banner of beast are you?" <laughs> That's right. preferred, by the way. The uh, the response you get back is a very tribal kind of. It almost sounds like a war chant. Uh, kind of cry from that that chamber. He is not intimidated at all. Um, no. Really, twenty eight. Really. <laughs> all right. 
They've got morale. <laughs> yeah, apparently they've they've got like a fucking war truck with drums and a bass player. <laughs> they can do anything together. Yeah, the front the front one sprays his teeth with fucking chrome paint. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For just a moment, I'll be shining. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if no if one's ever seen on the wrong side, you guys. If never, if no one's ever seen what actually an orc jelly is supposed to look like, you could look at what I just hacked up. Wow. Hey, my that's sink. Right. pretty much would look just like that. Gross, right? <laughs> Stop being a gross old man. <laughs> it, it, it hunks a flush in it and everything. All right, so right? Gingy, your your intimidation did not work at all. Damn it! Did you use the double guns, Gingy? Uh, no, I, I mm. tried to, like, puff myself up and look big like it was a bear attack and be like, Barrr! but no. I should have went with the double guns. Should have. I should have learned from the uh, the rattlesnake and just shaked my ass at it so it knew it was a danger. <laughs> That's you what go. you should have done. Shake your ass. Yeah. Yeah, be sure to watch yourself. <laughs> I know Tell you what you're with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew you'd catch it. All right. <laughs> So your your shout didn't do anything. I'll let you have that as a free action. Uh, hey. You taking any other actions? Well, yeah. If you're gonna open that door up. Yeah, it's just so, a verbal kind of assault. I'll give you that as a free action. So they've um, they've started like war chanting. There was a a cry that came back, and your guess is it. If you had to label it as something, it's it would be a rally cry. How are how are they posturing? Is he like? reaching for a weapon is he like just sitting there playing checkers like no like they're, they're definitely skittles right right is he shaking candy at me so i can stand my ground <laughs> on him like no they're they're definitely ready for for some sort of fight with you okay cool i'm gonna cast fireball <laughs> <laughs> all right fair enough <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm gonna hadouken one right down that that opening all right you move first <laughs> no, just hit Steve and, and <laughs> Anna in the back of the head with it. It'll be fine. I'm, I'm just going to yell duck and draconic and see if both of you pick up on it. This is going to be like a uh, social test. <laughs> it's a it's a 60 square foot uh, area, right? Everybody get low. It's um the effect is a 20 foot radius. One oh, 20 two. foot. Okay, okay. I was just curious if it was going to like shoot out of the tunnel. Uh, it's rolling it's back. Shooting. Because I've got a hundred and fifty foot range, I'm gonna pluck it in deep. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm gonna drop it like right here. All right, you got a twenty foot range on it. You said uh, right. its radius of detonation is twenty foot. The okay. range from which I can cast it is one hundred and fifty. Yeah. yeah, I was looking for the radius. All right. Yeah, twenty foot radius. And are these deck saves for half? Uh, I'm checking. Um, hold on. Yeah. Which spell with, are you casting? With the, when the update happened, it, it disorganized some of my spells, so let me check. Which, which, this which is a dex. Guys? Let me look it up, damn it! <laughs> it's a, don't do it. Don't do it. It's a trap. It is, it's dex. It's a dex? Okay. It is, uh, it is and your dex. DC is what, 17? 17. Uh... Alright, so one of them is, uh, is getting half. Okay. Go ahead and roll me damage. Hold on. Where the fuck? Oh, it removed all my damage rolls. On oh, it. fun. Hold on. Yeah, no worries. So, give me just a second while I do the math. I'll I'll set this back up later, but for the moment, uh. You did the math. There we go. There we go. There we go. Did you did you do the monster math? I did. Oh it, boy. <laughs> it was a cobalt smash. <laughs> there we go. Honk. Nice. All right. So half is math. Yeah, twenty-one. Yeah, 20. call twenty-one. It'd be twenty-two if you want to be nice about it. And the others take forty-three. I need a calculator because math is hard. There we go. Let's see. All right. Oh, sweet. Uh, the uh, All right. uh, Rico 
the his uh his mini from Hero Forge. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Slick. Uh Cypher, what are you doing? Oi. Uh, well I'm sneezing while off mic so I don't blow out everyone's ear. Um Yeah. Uh let's I've been see. Pizza on mute, so you know, do you think? Oh pizza. <laughs> do okay. you baby. Let me think here. So um Skogalis and I'm sure I fucked up the pronunciation on that. Thank you for that follow. <laughs> <laughs> I, Dude, I will go ahead and say that I cannot pronounce names to save my life. So if I fuck your name people's up, people's names have zeros and umlauts on it. I think <laughs> I don't think they wrote it to be read out loud. I think they wrote it as a challenge. All right, let's see. Anyway, so I'm I'm taking it that the light source is making that visible. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, from where I'm standing, that's the only thing that I can really. And actually, this is in the way. This is a. I'm assuming this is a cave wall right here. Yes. Uh, it is. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. So that means I have to move. So one, two, three, four, I don't know where five, you are. six. Where, there you are. Okay. Was, yeah. Where are you on my screen? I was over here. Yeah. Um, I'm over here. All right. Um. I guess so. What I'll do is just considering that I only see one creature right now. Which mm -hmm. is whatever that is. Can I make out what it is? Um, yeah, you get kind of the same description I gave earlier. It's uh, humanoid, blue, hunched over, long nose, tusks, beaks, beak like nose. Wasn't fucking Odin supposed to deal with this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 ice giants. Ice giants. They could what be he's little. little. These are the ice midgets. <laughs> maybe they're, they're ice, giant maybe ice giants. Therefore, they're just normal people size. And I think it was Thor that was actually supposed to tear the ice giants, not Odin. But regardless, um, okay. So I have I have reason to believe that this uh, this odd creature is being aggressive in some fashion. Absolutely. Okay. If it wasn't, I mean, it is now. I yeah, mean, pretty it's, much. It's, <laughs> if it wasn't I mean, pissed off before, it's it's definitely not happy now. Uh, is it like doing the haka? Like, how do I know what it is, what it's, why it's being, what is it doing that's making it clear that it's being aggressive? Well, you would have heard the the war cry come back from okay. uh, from Jinji's uh, intimidate attempt earlier. Okay. Uh, okay. And they're definitely brandishing weapons. Okay. All right. Well, then I guess I'll just do what anybody in my situation would do and zap them with um, uh, with um, uh, Lovecraftian energies what I'll do here. So let me see. As appropriate. Yes. <laughs> Tentacle uh, diddlies. <laughs> that's right. My uh, my eldritch, because if you check uh, Lovecraft's fucking work, every other word in his writing is the word eldritch. So I always right. just assume it's just Welsh. Or is it sometimes, not, yeah. Not sometimes new... he uses cyclopean. Yeah. When he's or, feeling creative. What was the <laughs> other word? Non... Uh... Non Euclidean. There you go. Yeah, non right, that's it. I'll use non 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 Euclidean um, beams that sort of bend at angles that aren't <laughs> supposed to bend. And, all right. Well, considering that this is now level eleven, I have three beams instead of two. Ma -ha, three. Ma -ha -ha. Wow. So right. uh, this is since this is the creature that I can see, I'm going to zap him three times. So right. number one. You got a resist for this, or is it uh, oh, uh, versus this is AC? A, okay. Uh, that's yeah. It's just an A. It's just so a that'll hit. Attack. Okay. Number two. Uh, that will miss. And number three, that will hit as well. So okay, 19. so that's that's uh, yeah. And uh, is there anything else, or is it yeah? It's one die ten plus. So yeah, a total of nineteen with those All three. Right. All right, uh, go. Hmm. And that was the only exit in this room. There's no other exits to the south. Uh, that we can see. Not that you can see. Because we didn't go down there. Right. You know what? You guys got a handle on that that tunnel up there. I uh, just got to check. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Move 50. And each one's five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, You guys nine, just do not ten. want me to keep you on the same screen, huh? No, I just, I, I'm making sure <laughs> there's another. I am logically making sure there's not another tunnel that they're going to come running in and flank us. Right. And me. No, I'm just giving you a bunch of shit. You're a Captain Punchy. Alright. This guy's turn. Somebody's got to watch the other entrance. <laughs> oh! Uh, 
Hannah! Hi! He's he's fast! He is. It was like 20 feet. He's fine. Uh, however... Anna! She wants a hug. She wants a hug. It was exactly. so sudden. Let me know if any of these hit your AC. So, 18 or 16. Negative. Alright, so he swings at you with this... Basically, it's a big femur uh, that he's using as a club. Uh, and he also, on his... On his uh, Coming around on his backhand, basically, tries to take a bite at you, uh, but seems to miss each time. Uh, Let's see. Turning? Yeah. Steve! Alright. Does the 22, 10, or 11 hit your AC? Uh, The 22 does. Alright. So, you are going to take... Six points of damage Ooh. from a bite. Oh, oh. And and now you have tetanus. <laughs> so he just he takes a big old bite out of you. He's got rage. Munch, chomp. Uh, is, Anna. Is, is he foaming at the mouth? He is not. Okay. Well, that's good. How would rabies affect you if you lived on an iceberg? Because you're afraid of water. Hmm. Yeah, but aren't you? Don't you get a fear of water? Or is it just you can't actually? Is it a fear drink? of water or a fear? Yeah, I think Wait. it's drinking it. Oh, okay. Rabies? I don't, I don't yeah. think it's fear. I think you just no. can't. No? Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought rabies caused uh, hydrophobia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, like, that's, totally, that's totally one of the symptoms. Like you Irritability, um, excessive movements, or agitation, confusion, hallucinations, aggressiveness, aggressiveness bizarre and abnormal thoughts, uh, muscle spasms. Uh, what else does it say about it? Um... And I don't think I, it doesn't say anything about about fear of water. Yeah, it's just just. I've never heard hydrophobia as a symptom to anything, it, but I I really want it to be true because that's fucking fascinating. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm, right, I have right, to look this up now. Human beings uh, with rabies. paralysis, extreme sensitivity, bright lights or sound, increased pr- uh, production of saliva. Ah, okay. And difficulty so speaking. So hydrophobia is the historic name for rabies. It it's yeah. what? rabies is previous name. Because you because what? you foam what? at the mouth. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Well, you know, anyway. we were wacky wait, people. Wait. No, sure. it was be- before there was the joke science of psychiatry. Hydrophobia meant you're generating excess liquid. The guy's foaming at the mouth. Then, then psychiatry came around and they went, "We want to use that for a fear of water because it makes sense." And they went, "Shit, we got to rename this thing. It's been around since the 1300s." All right, uh, we'll call it. Mm, frothy mouth syndrome. No, no, we need to we need to come up with a technical term. Anyway, so that's <laughs> so that's where it comes from. Anyhow, uh, Anna, it is your turn. I'm gonna poke stuff. You're gonna poke stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, every time I look, there's another one just like oh. in someone's grill. All right. Uh, which one? The one in front of you or the one in front of Steve? Get them both. <laughs> which one? The one that hit me. Okay. All right. It is not. Is it dead yet? <laughs> nope. Is it dead yet? Uh, Go get harder. Whoop. Let's see. Don't make me turn this beast around. Nope. It is not dead yet. Is it dead yet? Is it dead yet? Nope. <laughs> okay. God damn. That's a. Uh... No, well, that's that's about right. <laughs> shank. Pause. Shank. Pause. Shank. I'm not wasting a shank on a dead one. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I wonder. Yes. Oh! Anna, you're, you're flanked. Get that evil off me, Ricky. So. Alright, that All right, is the first roll. Does 23 hit your AC? Who, me? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> we'll take that as a yes. Uh, um, let's see. <laughs> so this is with the uh, femur mace. And then, does 24 hit your AC? Femur, like, gear shift now. Yeah, 23 hit it. 24 oh, really yeah. I suppose you're right. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be a, another hit with the mace. This one's skilled. 11. And then... Damn it. The 24 hit your AC, so this will be the bite. And... Was that one an attack roll or a damage roll? That one was a. Uh, it was Confirm a. Crit. 
No, it was a damage roll, but he has advantage, so he actually got the 24 because she's oh, flanked. Nice. So because I don't have the roll two dice at the same time for them, I just roll it. it. Yeah. So, all right. So that one is done. Steve. All right. Uh, how much damage did you take? Let's see. You got five, 16, um, 28 total. Chomp. Alright, Saren's gonna cast Fairy Fire. Okay. Um, in that area. Um, so these dudes are going to have to make a uh, dexterity check. Alright, let me go ahead and roll that real quick. And oh, they both shit. fail it terribly. So, um, they start glowing. Okay. Uh, they illuminate a 10 foot radius, and any attack rolls against them are at advantage. Okay. Uh, Saren is also now a full in there. Also, um, Schick Hydro in Japan is putting out Evangelion razor blades for reasons. Okay. Just what? throwing that out there. How long does uh, how long does that fairy fire square last? Um, is it just for, that turn? Well, it's it's yeah, it's actually okay. not the square. Yeah, the square is not. Uh, so like, that just happens to those dudes now. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, wanted that'll to. Be for, that'll be for one minute. I was just wanted to see if the square was was needed to stay there or not. Nah, I know. Okay. All right. So, Jinji, your turn, sir. Um, I'm gonna do the electric slide here and uh, slide to the left. Dun, 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 dun. I'm yeah, Melee's not as Melee's not as thing. All right, that is gonna give uh, that one uh, an attack of opportunity on you. What? You're leaving his threatened zone. Yep. I thought he was focused on her shit. Yeah, you're still in his threatened area. Now, if you, if you just take a five foot step back, he doesn't get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, like, is that accurate? No, because there's no five foot step anymore. That's right. Never mind. They took that out. Never mind. Fuck. All right. Reevaluate. Yep. Um. Kills it. I don't think I have anything that, that can kills it. At least not. I was trying. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck. I guess I am going to. Area effect spells will not work without frying part of our party. Exactly. Exactly. That's not what I'm gonna do. I was going. So most to... of my shit is right out the window right now. I, I'm screwed. <laughs> I I was gonna take a little Jimmy Jam to the bottom there and lightning bolt both of those guys, but. Since well, that would not be not... good because your bolt will bounce off the wall, dude. It's not chain lightning. No, it's a, light, it's a, a lightning bolt shot. will rick. Yeah, a lightning bolt will ricochet off of the wall. Ignore this roll. I'm trying something out. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Okay, never mind. I mean, what the fuck? Hold on. Some tab decided it was time for a Memorial Day sale. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh... <laughs> hey, motherfucker! Do you need a mattress? Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't they always on sale? <laughs> All right, um, I am going to scorching ray the guy in front of me. All right. Is that a? Do I get a save checking. for that one? Yep. You do not get a save for that one. Okay, so you have to hit an AC. Appear. No, it's a ray, so I don't think I have a like a touch AC or anything like that. Usually, I think magic missiles is the only thing I can think of that. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. You don't but, have anything to see. Save that's or... the thing is, like, when it wiped out some of my spells when the uh, did the update, so there was no like yeah. under my category for hey, what can you do to avoid this attack? It was blank. Yeah, no worries. I'm uh, trying. Page two seventy three. Two seventy three. That sounds about right. It's usually around two eighty. All my spells are uh, checking. See. Scorching ray. Scorching ray at my level should be. Let's see. Range spell attack for each ray. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so go ahead and give me 
How many rays do you get? Two? Is it or is it three? I got oh, no, three. Get I got I get a oh. I got a third at level eleven. Okay, so go ahead and give me three ranged uh, attacks. And I think you get your charisma bonus on them since you're a sorcerer. They are fi uh, they're fire, so I do get and you that, get that yes. bonus too. <laughs> Pew pew pew! This is all sizzle. Wow. I have to see if I can. Uh, 18. That will hit. That'll hit. And that's a. That one will miss. Give me a just a regular. Oh, wait, that's damage. That's not. Wait, shit. <laughs> um, God damn it. I need to go through and fix all these. My shit was all organized, all OCD style, and now, uh. Less so. Hold on, let me find it. Where is my range spell? I can't find the dice for that. Who needs dice? I do, apparently. <laughs> Just tell them what you rolled. 40. There you go. <laughs> Seven times. <laughs> No. Where where the fuck is that dice? Rico, that should have been right, actually. Let's see. Oh, uh, hold on. Let's try. Uh, you'd probably have to go down to the ranged weapons and fill in like something saying the attack stats, charisma, and Ignore that. Alright, so that one will miss. That one will hit. And that fuck. one will miss, so he'll take nineteen points of damage. Alright. It's good your one hit was the, the really good roll. Yeah. All right, Cypher. Uh, let's see. How much do I like the rest of my party? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, I, I roll giant puppy eyes. And that was fire damage, yes? That is fire damage, yes. All right, cool. Let me Don't see. worry, Corvo. I'm outside of AOE effects. <laughs> yeah, <it's right. laughs> yeah, go ahead. I don't mind, he yeah, says. Yeah, you bounce. Um... I have to look at the description of said item, so I know if there is a spell or if I will just use the normal freaky hentai effect here. Um, no, because all of that, most of that stuff is fucking area effect. Okay, so I guess what I will do is uncork my uh, tube of blood and pull out my wand, and I will... How How far is it? Uh, uh, five feet. Would blood be like really coagulated and it'd be like one gelatinous gooey blood ball at the end of your uh, wand there? Uh, well, not if I refill it every night. And we ha we're still in the same... It's still within an hour or two of the last time I used it, dude. Remember, it hasn't been several days. So. Um, all right. Uh, there. To there. And then... It is five feet? All right, so it's four <laughs> each. To, okay, so it's four attacks. Okay. And it is to uh, action cost five, four foot long spike tentacles, uh, five foot each. Each tentacle makes a melee attack roll with a bonus of plus eight melee attack, which is is that a special roll or is that a? Is that you just should melee? have just a regular melee unarmed attack. Yeah, that's what I'm. I'm looking for that. Because I don't do melee, so yeah. is that is that under skills or under stats? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um... You mean just just punching something? Yeah. Yeah, just basic melee attack. You would have to add it to your melee attacks thing, and add yeah. the attack stat, say strength, and damage would be, I believe it's one d two. Yeah. So you. Damage type right. you can just, I oh. think you can just hit attack on an empty. No, it gives yeah, you no, a sand I, I, there. Yeah, I, I see that. There's actually a thing for it. So yeah. it's. Uh, uh, okay, this is. Uh, 1 die 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, uh, plus 8. And it's. Is it 2 die 6? Is that the damage on this thing? I uh, believe. That sounds it right. Is, is that right? 2 die 6? Uh, oops. It is under. Under the background. For the damage, it is. Um, Roll plus eight and a tentacle, one die six damage, um, and then it has to make a two die six poison save. 
So that's that's it. Okay. So it's one day six damage. When so the tentacles hit, do they make like a? <laughs> now you hear the the squeal of a of a of a uh, of a Japanese schoolgirl when it hits. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, so number one. Okay. Uh, give you a syntax fuck. error. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. I'll just fucking, I'll just roll a fucking here. I'll just roll. Number one. Uh, miss. Plus, that's is uh, that, that's not plus eight though. So. A uh, plus eight, eight that will hit. Yeah. Okay. So, two. Uh, hit. Three. Miss. Four. Hit. Okay, nice. so three, so it's three dice six for damage. I don't think it's plus eight for damage, just plus eight to hit, right? Right. All right, and so this is three dice six. And this was this one here. Yeah, the okay. one who's five feet away. And then it's three con saves to determine how much damage he takes from the poison. All right, let me check his con. Hang on. Oh, good. All right. I am going to take a quick moment to grab a drink. No worries. Right, so. How many, times, how many times did he, he success? Uh, what was the DC on it? Uh, if it's seven, if it's me, it's 17. Uh, so it's so twice. Twice he succeeded. Okay, so the first one he takes 11. The second okay. one he takes 4. third one he takes 3. So, so 18? No, 19. 11. Yeah, it's 11 and 4 and 3. 11 oh, and 7. 11, 4 and 3. Yeah, you're right. Which yeah. is, so 19... Uh, and how much did I do damage wise? I did for the first part. I did. Uh... Got it. Right, it's one day. Oh, uh, it was. Where the fuck is the damage? I rolled it. Oh, it was twelve plus. Yeah, and I got the twelve, 12. plus seventeen, so it's twenty-eight total yeah. damage. Got him. Okay. Okay. Go. Yes, sir. What? Uh, your turn. Oh, Down there, exploring the, the bottom. I was making sure there was no other entrance. So I actually did measure this out there, GM, if I double mm -hmm. my move. There you go. That's okay. my end turn. All right. And let's see. Whose turn is this? He gets back. <laughs> Doubles YX66. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. I'm back. Welcome back. I'm going to uh, eliminate all of this juice. So, uh, Anna, the one in front of you that you've been beating on looks a little bit healthier. Um, and he decides that he didn't like the fact that you were hitting on him in not a <laughs> sexual way. Ladies. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, so he's going to crit you. Oh. I am immune to crit, sir. Oh, uh, well, good, good thing. But he still hit you with the crit, so... How do I get that vaccine? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. How are you immune to crits, man? That's crazy. Become a fighter. Get to level you, 11. Yeah. No. What you do is you get some weaker or you, like weaker hits and you eject yourself with them. <laughs> oh, that's you get, it. You get adamantine happy. You don't. Take, you uh, bad for the day. But... Take uh, 10 points of damage, Anna. You punch yourself constantly. <laughs> It's like I'm going to shoot myself with 22s every day until I, so I can get immune to larger bullets. Yeah, you know the scene in Happy Gilmore where he uh, like goes to the, the baseball uh, cage. cage. Yeah, <laughs> that yep. hurt a little bit, but I'm okay. Steve, what's your AC? Rico, she uh, does. I'm a bear. It's 18. 18. All right, so you're gonna take hits from all of these. Yay! Oh, God. Right. I, I appreciate uh, sealing off my exit, by the way. Nine. Well, there's a reason I put myself in the square that I'm in. And then... Whop. Oh. Whop. So, Whop. 26, 35 points of damage, Steve. All right. All right, Bears are right. tough. Anna, your turn. I'm going to smack the one that... <laughs> well, I, I I just want to point out tactically, yell, yelling it out. This oh, you is know flanked. what? He had uh, yeah, he had flank on her, flanked. but I completely forgot about it. This is flanked from two directions. That's fine. It doesn't Whose change anything. He just that? gets he just gets advantage, or or he just gets you guys just get advantage because against him. Right, but Anna could get advantage on him. And then Steve could get advantage on him, and we could free up the sorcerer. Yeah, take the advantage of these poor snow trolls. My God. So all of them have advantage on them. 
I guess. Well, no, because. Okay, I'll Don't... get the one in between uh, me and Ginger. Yeah, just okay. a reminder they all have advantage on them. Don't take advantage of the trolls, guys. No means no. They Come didn't on. say no. Yeah, no, I haven't heard anything yet. Did you Did you get. Uh... Right. And he will slump down dead. Cool. I'm going to turn around and smack the other one. Alright. Uh, okay. And he will also slump down dead. Nice. Oh man. Yeah. You did it. Yeah. I killed two things, yo. You eat crits, right. and then you shoot out other crits. <laughs> I eat crits for breakfast. <laughs> Alright. I'm and... finished. I'm done here, bitches. <laughs> drop, so, the, drop the pike. The, uh... uh the one in the middle between Gingy and Anna stands back up after slumping what? down. Oh, Horse great. shit. What? They're, they're trolls. It, it, it healed. It, oh, it, this was its turn. Yep. Uh -huh. Initiative wise. What do you have to do to kill a troll? Fire, acid. Fire. Yeah. I've already hit it with fire twice. You didn't kill it with fire, though. Yeah, you got it. I hit it with fire. Fast. Gingy, what's your AC? Like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, move I don't think that's an AC. My I'm AC's kidding. like 17. Okay, so all of those hit you, and one of them crit. God damn it. All right, so, I'm already injured. So take five from the first attack. This one is the crit attack. So 14 from that attack, and then 11 from that attack. So 19, 20, 30... 30 damage total. You're fine. You're good. No, I'm coughing up blood <laughs> out of my butthole. <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. No, you'll be alright. Walk right. it off. You're good. Yeah. Roll some dirt in it. Steve. Steve, I'm the one that just knocked down two of them. They should be attacking me. <laughs> Not yeah, hard but enough. He's the one that they've seen throw fire. Yep. Uh, okay. Saren's gonna regain, um, what's his con? Um... 11 hit points okay. uh, as a free action. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, and then he's going to swipe Sarah. at this boy with his claw. Sarah, okay. Can you move um, out of breath weapon range? Yeah, I would recommend it. Wait, wait. Sarah, <laughs> can you move so two of them can get free attacks on you when you move out of their threatened area? All three of Well, two of them. Yeah, you're right. Instead of the person move who's immune to crits, you know, can you move? <laughs> well, either way, in, either who's, way, I move. Steve, I'm who's sorry. that against? Uh, this one. Okay. Uh, oh, fire! Yep. All right. My my fox machine is running real low right now. Uh, right, and then one. he's gonna bite this one. Okay. That one that was between uh, you guys that, that was there then, is permanently dead. That's a nineteen. Okay. Okay, that puts a little gas in my fox machine. Alright. You getting more attacks, Steve, or just those two? That's it. Okay. Ginger? Um. Now that I can move, I'm going to shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, Coco Pop. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I was trying not to do that, you <laughs> bastard. I am going to, and this is just being cool, I'm going to be using burning hands off to an angle so it hits them on the edge but not my people. All right. So I'm basically going to, like, look them in the eye, hold my hand 45 degrees away from my eye line, and then cast burning hands. Gotcha. Um, which is, let's, uh... I always try to imagine these circumstances and if they were actually happening, like the wizard calculating which angle his fire is going to hit. <laughs> yeah, I think I, uh, I know my spells inside now. Yeah, I was. I would think magic users have studied the effects of their spells to be able to go. Okay, you know, if I shoot like it the there, the ass end will hit these guys. It's just yeah, like no, the like... math teacher always told you. Geometry's gonna save your life. <laughs> like a fucking, right? he's got like a, a T square in his fucking spell book. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Protractor. I pulled out like a sextet so I could like <laughs> measure the angle. I'm doing trig math. Sounds very wizardy. 
That's wizardy as fuck. You're a geomancer. All right, so this will be um, uh, attack versus dex. Okay. <laughs> That's my thinking music. Hold on. All right, so this this should be. Uh, so I need to roll dex saves. You will need to roll a dex save. All right. I guess for both of them. Yep. And I made it, or I tied it with one, which I will give to Wait. you. Oh, that's an attack versus AC. Right, I have it set for dex. What the fuck? Weird. Uh, yes, weird. Um, let's okay. see. Attack roll. Let's Why are you ver Let's see. Burning hands. Ma Burning hands is a touch attack, isn't it? No, it's a cone. No, it's a cone effect. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's um, burning. It's a classic. Come on, yeah. It's a cone of fire. What um? It's see. An ice cream cone of fire. Fifteen foot, fifteen foot cone must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature, blah 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 blah, half damage. Um, yeah. Huh, no, it's weird. it's it's a versus dex, but okay. Well, neither of them made it. So go ahead and give me uh, give me the damage. Yeah, we'll but worry I didn't get the we'll roll worry about it later. Dex. What the fuck? Yeah. No, you don't. You don't. It's they make a deck check versus versus your ace or your DC to determine if they take half damage. Yeah, we got that. We don't, we don't know roll. why his roll is uh, showing. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you're right. Okay. And isn't that right. the damage? Isn't 13 and 15 the damage? No, those were attack rolls. Oh, yeah. I don't know. And I, I believe I would just roll one, or do you want me to roll two damage? Actually, you don't need to make an attack roll. That's the thing. Yeah, roll yeah. your roll the damage for it, and yeah. just roll it once. Just uncheck both, the attack roll and check damage. damage. Make sure and you have damage point. checked. Damage is checked? Right. There it is. There you go. 17. All right. Nice. So this one couldn't move anyway because he's incapacitated. That's enough to kill him permanently. Shit. These guys are going to be burnt to a crisp, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. Fuck. Sorry for I, your I turn. I will straddle one and put my hands in its mouth and cast that spell if I need to. <laughs> Well, in order for I can't study them if they're burnt to a crisp. That's the problem. You can study these nuts. Look, how I'm fucking hurt. <laughs> I'm using burning hands to cauterize my own wounds. <laughs> study that. <laughs> All right, Cypher, your turn. Study my slow death process. We need to fucking look at something. I'll just I'll give you the you should have been in the back where most casters are supposed to stand. Dipshit, look, and move on with my life. I think he just told you to get to the back of the bus. That's it. He did. Um, he did. I, Make Let's a privilege see. check. Well, fucking roll for privilege. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, here. Um, I don't have anything that I'm going to be able to hold him down with, so I guess I just have to... I guess I'll just zap him. Actually, no, it's fire. So, since that's what needs to happen here, me and my crazy cantrip, oh flame, I will cast... Where are you? Yeah, let me cast cold spells. That'll work. Um... <laughs> Here we go. This go right is... ahead. Ah, it doesn't fucking... All right, we so had that happen is... before, remember? The, the one skeleton in the pit? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. It's... All right, so it's 3 die 10. Uh, make a ranged spell attack against the target. On the hit, the target takes 1 die 10 fire damage... Or 3 die 10 fire damage, because it's level 11. Okay. And so I'm assuming it's supposed to be that. So, cast... <laughs> 20 hit, 18 points damage. Nice. And... Bloop. All right. Uh, go. Moving there, stopping there. Okay. Standing ready to punch. All right. So, Steve. 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 What's your AC? 18. Ah, uh, none of his attacks hit. Yeah. And just flails yeah. all of your fur. Must be cool. <laughs> to have attacks not hit. What's that feel like? I'm a bird. <laughs> <laughs> he can't tell you. He speaks bear. Rawr, <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. My AC is actually you can't just like... gesture at the, where the wounds would have been with your paws. <laughs> like, rawr, rawr, yeah. rawr. As, as a big fat bear, I'm actually like easier to hit. Then as Saren, uh, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> 
as a big old leather daddy. Hey, I think I think Comrade Bear has something to say about that. Hey, Comrade Bear. All right, Anna, what are you? Uh, what are you doing? Pike. All right, that uh, that will be enough to knock it down, and it dies. She just <laughs> she's just gonna keep stabbing it. That's what I'm saying. As if there's an answer. What are you gonna do? Stab, stab, stab. All stab. right. So it's it's stabbed fairly thoroughly. So so Steve, whenever you're in animal form, your uh, your animal attacks automatically have fire effect. Yeah, I'm a fire bear. 